Hello friends, I am Joshua. Today's topic is Digital Subscriber Line Technology. Why study Digital Subscriber Line Technology? DSL is a technology for bringing high bandwidth information to homes and small business over ordinary copper telephone lines. DSL line can carry both data and voice signal and the pa data part of the line is continuously connected. What are we going to study? Overview of digital signal line technology, working of digital signal line technology, feature of digital signal line technology and also the types of digital signal technology in networking. Overview of DSL technology Although there are several other media such as fiber, wireless, cable modem and power line communication that can be used to provide broadband access to residential and business subscriber but none of them has a ubiquity of the telephone line or the level of maturity of development but the DSL technology can be possible. Telephone service is provided to almost every businesses, residential subscriber in the most of the world. Several hundred million twisted pay telephone lines installed globally till date. The data carrying capacity of the telephone twisted pair greatly extend over voice band modem technology. Let's see the DSL technology working. <coughs> DSL is a broadband high-speed internet te technology over ordinary copper telephone lines. Digital data transmission is possible. DSL service is delivered simultaneously. Higher frequency it is using. It is separated by filtering by the low pass filter and the high pass filter because the low pass signals are used for voice signal and the high, sing, uh, high high frequency signal are using for the data so it can be separated by filtering then digital data is transmitted directly to the computer exporting the maximum bandwidth through the DSL technology last the wide range of unused frequency is used in the broadband communication Let's see how the multiple channel is using in the DSL technology. In DSL, modem divide the available bandwidth of the telephone line in one of the two ways. Frequency division multiplexing and echo cancellation is possible. FDM assign one band for upstream data and another band for downstream data. The downstream path is then divided by time division multiplexing into one or more high speed channel and one or more low speed channel. The upstream path is also multiplexed into corresponding low speed channel. Here we see the upstream channel and the downstream channel. It is divided into two parts. But in echo cancellation, assign the upstream data to overlap the downstream here we see the upstream band is overlapped by the downstream and separated the two by means of local local echo cancellation a technique well known in v32 and v34 modem with either technique dsl split of a 4 kilohertz region for port at the dc end port of the band Let's see the DSL features. Distance sensitive technology. Internet connection is always on. Third, simultaneous use of phone line for voice as well as data traffic is possible. Internet connection is highly reliable and secure. High speed MBBS as a regular modem, 56 KBBS maximum. Here is the question. 
how the data signal and the voice signal are separated in DSL. As we redid and learned from the previous slides, can you answer? By using a different types of filter like low pass filter, high pass filter, band pass filter and so many filters it can, it can be used in modems. DSL technology application First, internet access and file sharing is possible. Second, video like broadcast TV, video on demand, user generated video, then telecommuting, online education and shopping, telemedicine, online gaming is possible through DSL technology. Here is the types of DSL technology. ADSL is 7 Mbps downstream and 800 Kbps upstream. It is ratified in 1999. Then it came ADSL second, 2002, 8 Mbps downstream and 1 Mbps upstream. The next then ADSL 2 plus in 2003. 24 Mbps downstream and 1 Mbps upstream. Then it came ADSL 2 RE, it means reach extended in 2003. 8 Mbps downstream and 1 Mbps upstream. Then it came SSDSL in 2003. 5.6 Mbps upstream and downstream also. Then VDSL, very high data, great DSL. 2014. It was ratified 55 Mbps downstream and 15 Mbps upstream. Then it came VDSL 2, 12 MHz, purposely for long reach. It has 55 Mbps downstream and 30 Mbps upstream. Then it came VDSL 2, 30 MHz, but is for short reach only. It is released in 2005. 100 Mbps upstream and downstream. Summary What we have learned from these slides Overview, Working, Feature, and Application of Digital Signal Line Technology. Second, Different Types of Digital Signal Line Technology in Networking. References We have taken from DSL Technology by Professor Richard Harris. And second, Data Communication Networking by Beros A. Forzon. Thanks for taking the time to learn about DSL technology.